So you've probably seen all these devlog videos about that game blowing up, but mine hasn't really had that yet. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to be updating my game to make it go viral. Hopefully. But if you didn't watch my previous devlog video, then I'll give you a quick recap. I made a sniper shooter game where you fight in arenas with up to 8 other people to become the last man standing and the game before this video's update was still pretty bare bones and it was full of bugs, I mean features. But now that you're all caught up, let's get back to developing. So at the time my game only had 3 different maps which you could actually play on which got kind of old when playing for a while so I had this idea of making a train station sort of map where you can fight whilst also dodging moving trains which I thought was pretty cool so after a couple of hours I'd finish building the map but I left out scripting the trains for the next day So on day two, I scripted the trains to randomly drive through the station and play this annoying sound effect so the player knows when they're coming. And there we go, that's the station map complete. But now I need to make it so the game is somewhat fun to grind and so there's rewards to collect. And also stats, game passes, leaderboards, thumbnails, music. But we'll get to that stuff soon. So I made a stats GUI first, so you can like, I don't know, flex your stats. And then for the rest of the day, I made a spectate system, so you're not just watching everyone fight from the lobby. I started off day three with making the reward system, so you could actually earn stuff for playing the game. So I made this GUI that lets you claim different snipers when you reach a certain amount of kills. And there isn't much there right now, but there will be more snipers in the future to unlock as I update the game. I won't be spoiling the rewards in this video, you'll just have to play the game to actually unlock them. And to finish off the day, I started on the Game Pass Shop GUI, but I left the scripting for the next day. So on day 4, I finished off the Game Pass Shop so I could actually make some money if my game went viral. I added a death particle effect, VIP, 2 times kills and wins which I think is good enough without being too much like a cash grab game. And after that I felt a bit burnt out and I stopped working on the game for the rest of the day. So by day 5 I'd finally finished scripting all the GUIs in the game and here is footage of it. So as you might have saw in that clip, I added a rank system to the game, so when you hit a certain amount of kills, you unlock a new rank, and I made badges to go along with it too, to add more progression to the game. I also added leaderboards to the game, but I found out someone had glitched to somehow get 4,000 wins, and I still have no clue how, but whatever. And by the end of day 5, the update was finally complete. So, did the new update actually make my game go viral? Well, not really. Well, it did boost my game's players a lot more as I get around 50 visits per day. And it was fun playing the new update on stream with you guys on my channel. But the big question is, did I make any Robux from it? Well, the game passes sort of worked as I made around 300 Robux altogether over the past month from the game. But I think most of it was probably just from premium payouts, which is just premium players playing the game. But the game is only in beta, and there will be more updates and devlogs to come. So comment down below what you would want to see next, or join our Discord server with over 1,000 members, and suggest what you want to see in the game. Also, the game link is in the description if you just want to hop on with a friend. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.